Are you ready? We got all the boys in the back. They need to hear you. Are you ready? Clark up there hyping us up as usual. Folks, welcome to Billtown Roadhouse as Green on Rusty presents Billtown Throwdown. Here for Sunday brunch. I think you should too. But right now we are treated to Ryan Rise in the debut matchup tonight. The opening matchup tonight for Billtown Throwdown. I'm very excited to call this matchup. And as it is between two friends, two training partners, two men that know each other very well. And I always like calling action between two competitors that know each other very well. There's always a dynamic between the two. It becomes one of these friendly competitions of who knows who better. Or who is held back the most from their training partner. To pull out of their back pocket. When their opponent least expects it. The impeccable Miles Penn. Now approaching the ring. These two competitors just under two years in the business under the tutelage of world famous CB and of course the uh, of course the worldwide dojo Miles Penn also training under uh, Speedball Mike Bailey as well spent some time at the DDT dojo in Japan ladies and gentlemen in this opening contest is scheduled for one fall one fall to prove right here in front of the Williamstown crowd tonight. between two men who know each other very well, two training partners, has begun. Ryan Rise with the cravat right off the bat. Snap there. Miles Penn right over into a pitting predicament. Not enough to keep him down, however. From what I understand, these two guys have a uh, friendly agreement that uh, this competition between the two, the winner... We'll be buying the, uh, the loser Taco Bell. One of my guilty pleasures as well. I get it. That steak and cheese burrito is ridiculous. Miles Penn now turning the tables. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of turning, there's a reversal. Penn up and over to the outside. Short of the midsection. Ryan Rise now. Look at this. Beautiful. But Rise gives chase. What I tell you, knowing his partner so very well, his training partner, can't say that he is his wrestling partner as uh, Ryan Rise, of course the third member of the Lost Boys along with Ethan Promise and uh, Juni Underwood, the backbreak kid and the fire starter respectively. Oh, and he pulls the old, got something on your chest. Catches that one, turns it around. Rise. Sends Penn. Oh! Penn grabs the leg. Double boot sends him back. Tripping attempt unsuccessful. Leapfrog now. Beautifully done. Lipasso. They hear us over. 
Whatever. And Miles Penn just looks at him. Sends him to the other side and just stares. Knee to the midsection now. Fully in control. Ryan Rise blocks the, uh, the suplex attempt. Oh! Quick roll up. Not enough, however. Catches it. Oh, goes for a backslide. Hitting combinations back and forth. Holds on to it. Arm still hooked. And right back to that cravat. Getting very creative with the avenues he takes to get back to the to the trusty cravat. Impressive stuff by Ryan Rye. You know, as we all know, you keep going back to the well to the same maneuver on your uh, opponent successfully. That's gonna that's gonna totally frustrate your opponent. Seen it many times uh, back in the, in the classics like uh, Samoa Joe and CM Punk used to have in Ring of Honor with the uh, headlock being applied over and over again, creating frustration. We may be seeing this. We definitely are seeing the same thing here as Ryan Rise is creating a whole lot of frustration in Miles Penn. Started off as a friendly uh, sportsman-like contest, but Penn seems to be straying a bit from that, letting a bit of that frustration through in his attacks. The ride home might be a little awkward after this one. As Rise back to his feet first and Penn struggling to pull himself up in the corner. Forearm now. Back elbow follows it up. Making another one. And Penn tenacious in his uh, in his attacks here. Coming across. Rise tries to get the boot up, but unsuccessful. And a rising uppercut. Finds a mark on Rise. Miles Penn now for a third time coming across. Punishing Ryan Rise in the corner. He has a forearm again. Now Penn. Oh, reversal by Rise. Penn to the corner. Up and over quick. Nice backflip. Out of the way just in time. Catches Rise by surprise. And now laying the boots to the midsection of this young man. And it's something to say that these two have been training together for just under two years, but they know each other this well. Rise now turning it. Getting some momentum on his end. Wait a minute. Ben's not coming. Oh! What a backbreaker! Holds on to it. Flatliner sends him flying to the ropes. And Ryan Rice is in trouble now. Hooks both legs as Penn. Not enough, however. Rice gets the shoulder up. Match continues. The Taco Bell Bill hangs in the balance here. As these two continue to try and get to the point where they can prove that tonight they are the better competitor. Penn has been in control. But Rise, not giving it up, not willing to submit just yet. Misses with that spot, with that spinning clothesline. And Penn comes up with a step up into Gurry, hits him in the back of the head. Every time Rise starts to, to try and get a little momentum. Oh! Spoke too soon. Going right back to that knowing your training partner, Ryan Rise, has probably seen that a million times. Then coming off the middle rope with that cross body, and Rise is ready with it. Ready with that drop kick right to the midsection. Even in the playing field, coming across with that big back elbow. Up and over now goes Rise. Penn sends him to the outside. And catches a forearm. Strung up across the top rope. Penn staggering. Ryan Rise ascending the ropes. Coming out with a flying clothesline. Still not enough to 
keep pinned down, however. Bragging rights on the line, but also the ability to say that they got the win in the opening matchup of Green Mind Wrestling's debut here at the Billtown Roadhouse. One. See a little bit of frustration written across his face as well. But right back to his feet. Crowd getting behind Ryan Rise right now. Rise setting it up. Oh no! Oh my god. Up and his, his footing was unsure, stumbled there, took a boot to his face, but still not willing to give it up. Miles pins on the top rope. Splash! Hooks the leg. What was it? Two or three? Two. Two count only. Ryan Rice still in this one, folks. Not being deterred by the slipping of the footing. Position could be going for Pence landing here. Oh, hold on a second. Victory roll! 